dear students now we are going to discuss free space propagation model propagation model is also known as path loss model in general this propagation model is mainly used to predict the strength of the received signal at the receiver here free space means it is having the clear line of sight path between transmitter and receiver that means there are no obstacles between transmitter and receiver it is having clear line of sight path we can consider the medium is air okay for example satellite communication and microwave radio link both are having clear line of sight path between the transmitter that is at the station and satellite so here we can have uplink communication downlink communication in this satellite it is a example for clear line of sight path in air medium okay so next we are going to analyze the free space propagation loss and also to predict the strength of the received signal so for that first we have to analyze the free space loss here we can consider a sphere of radius d so if the transmitting antenna is placed at the center of this sphere and radiates isotropically then the power density at the surface for the distance d is pt by 4 pi d squared so here pt is the transmitted power so if you are going to take a receiver antenna with an effective area ae at a distance d from this transmitter then the received power as a function of the distance d is given as pr of d is equal to here the power density multiplied with this effective area of the receiving antenna so here pt by 4 pi d squared into ae consider this as the first equation so here ae is nothing but the effective area of the receiving antenna it depends on the gain of the receiving antenna and its wavelength so ae is equal to gr multiplied with lambda squared by 4 pi so consider this as the second equation if the transmitting antenna is not isotropic then the power density is multiplied with this transmitting antenna gain and here we can simply replace this effective area with its value then this term becomes lambda squared by 4 pi d the whole square do you all understand this one then the received power as a function of the distance d in free space is given as pt gt gr lambda by 4 by d the whole square here pt is the transmitted power gt is the transmitting antenna gain gr is the receiving antenna gain lambda is the wavelength d is the distance between transmitter and receiver okay so this equation is also known as frisch power equation or frisch law so in this one this factor is very important to find out the free space loss factor because the reciprocal of the factor lambda by 4 by d the whole square is the free space loss factor so it can be represented as 4 by d by lambda the whole square here lambda is equal to c by f then we can write this expression as 4 by d f by c the whole square so from this we can come to know that the free space loss factor that is attenuation in free space is directly proportional to the frequency if frequency increases the loss is also getting increased so attenuation in free space increases with frequency okay so next we are going to find out the received power in free space okay so here the received power is given by this free space free space equation that is pr of d is equal to pt gt gr into lambda by 4 by d the whole square divided by l here this l is nothing but the system loss factor okay so this equation is very important one to define the propagation model because it is going to calculate the received signal strength in free space model so here l is the system loss factor do you all understand this one so in this one the gain of the receiving antenna can be obtained by using the formula 4 pi ae by lambda squared ae is the effective area of the receiver okay 
So for an isotropic antenna, the EIRP that is equivalent isotropic radiated power. So that value is nothing but the transmitted power multiplied with this transmitting gain. Okay. Next we are going to analyze path loss. Path loss is defined as the ratio of the transmitted power to the received power. So in terms of decibels we can take 10 log. Okay. So PL of dB is equal to 10 log of the transmitted power to the received power. So we are going to simply substitute the received power here. So received power is PT GT GR lambda square divided by 4 by D the whole square into L. Correct. Then we can simplify these terms and then take this gain in the numerator. So in that case we can take the power minus 1. So this term can be written as the last factor is equal to minus 10 log of GT GR lambda square divided by 4 by D the whole square. So for unity gain that means GT is equal to GR is equal to 1 we can take this path loss as minus 10 log of lambda by 4 by D the whole square. So this factor is very important to analyze free space model correct. So as I told you free space loss factor is lambda by 4 by D the whole square okay. Next one is Fraunhofer distance. So Fraunhofer distance is the far field distance. So free space model is valid only for this Fraunhofer region. If the antenna is here means this is the near field region. Far field means with certain distance okay. So here this Fraunhofer distance is given as 2d squared by lambda. Here the d is nothing but the largest linear dimension of the antenna okay. There are two conditions for this Fraunhofer distance. One is this Fraunhofer distance is for greater than the dimensions of the antenna and for less than the lambda. So here d naught is always for greater than this df. Here d naught is the reference distance. Finally, the received power in free space at a distance d greater than or equal to the reference distance d naught as pr of d is equal to pr of d naught d naught by d the whole square. So we have to consider the reference distance and this reference distance should always be greater than the Fraunhofer distance. Okay. So next the range of received power is very large dynamic one. It is continuously varying with a huge value. Then it can be represented as dBm or dBw. For indoor here we can consider this reference distance as 1 meter. For outdoor this reference distance is 100 meter to 1 kilometer. That is here we can have our antenna means then we can consider this reference distance to get the received power in the Fraunhofer region as d naught. Its value is 1 meter for indoor. In case of outdoor its value is 100 meter to 1 kilometer. So it is very important factor okay.